Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about mitosis. Mitosis is a process which happens in living things to create new cells. Now this can be really important when we think about growth, because if obviously an organism is growing, we need to make new cells. And also, it can be really important in repair as well. For example, if I was to accidentally cut myself, I'd need to replace those cells and produce new cells. Also, certain things such as bacteria reproduce by this process. The basic idea of mitosis is you start off with one cell and then it splits and it gives you two identical daughter cells. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to discuss exactly how this happens, the different stages and what is going on during mitosis. So the very first stage in mitosis is called interphase. So during this phase, here's my cell membrane and here is my nucleus. Now I've done my nucleus quite big here. We have all of the DNA that is really um, kind of spread out in long strings. Remember the DNA is where all of the genetic information is stored for an organism. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to make an exact copy of this cell here. Now what happens to begin with during interphase is the DNA is copied. The DNA is copied. So what you end up with is all the DNA in these things called chromosomes which look like this. Now a chromosome is just lots of DNA all coiled up in this particular structure. So this side here, this arm here, is identical to this arm here. I've done them in different colours to help us in just a second. So that is interphase where we have the long strands and the DNA duplicates, it copies itself. So now we have one copy here and one copy here held in a chromosome. So next up we have prophase. Now in prophase the nuclear membrane, so this is the little membrane around the nucleus, starts to break down and these chromosomes get shorter and fatter. Okay, so here's my chromosomes. Now in a human, you'd have 23 pairs of these chromosomes, okay? But I'm just gonna draw a few, just so it's nice and quick, okay? So, now this nucleus is broken down, these chromosomes are just free within the cytoplasm of this cell. Okay, now the next stage is called metaphase. Now during metaphase, the chromosomes line up across the middle of the cell. That's how I remember it. Metaphase starts with an M and so does the word middle. So we can see here's one chromosome here, one here, one here. So we can see they've lined up across the middle. Now what's going to happen in a minute is half of these chromosomes are going to be pulled this way and half are going to be pulled this way. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to make two new cells which are identical to each other. And this happens during the phase called anaphase. So during anaphase, we have these things form called cell fibers. Okay. Now cell fibers what they do is they actually pull the chromosomes apart. This is how I remember anaphase, because A is for anaphase, and A is for apart. So we have cell fibres at each kind of pole of the cell, so each end of the cell, pulling them apart. So this one that's shown in red is going to go this way. Remember this copy. And this identical copy of the same chromosome is going to be pulled the other way. So what we end up with is half of the genetic information going this way and half going this way. What we next have is a phase called telophase. Now during telophase, we've started, so let's say, 
here's what it starts to look like now. All of these chromosomes, which have been pulled this way, the blue ones are now this side, and all of these ones, shown in red, are this side. So we have half of the genetic information here, and the exact copies of each of these here. We also have starting to form two new nuclear membranes. Remember, a nuclear membrane is just this layer containing all of the nuclear material, this membrane here. That's how I remember telophase, because I think of two new nuclear membranes have been formed, one here and one here. <laughs> now, the final stage that we need to think about is a stage called cytokinesis. Now, all that this is, is where the um, new cell membrane starts to actually form, just here, and eventually these two cells are gonna pinch off from each other and we're gonna be, um, they're no longer gonna be attached. So in cytokinesis, we now have one of the cells here and one of the cells here. So one of the cells here and one of the cells here. So they are no longer attached. They have now come apart from each other and they should be an, an exact genetic copy, genetically identical to our parent cell. So at the beginning, this one here is our parent cell because this one's the one we started off with. And these ones here are our daughter cells because these are the ones we've ended up with. So we have interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and cytokinesis. And this is how, this is what the chromosomes, the DNA is doing at each stage. Thank you.